Planned obsolescence. Intentionally designing products to have a limited lifespan, which encourages repeat purchases. Loss leader. Offering a product at a loss to attract customers who are likely to purchase additional profitable items. Vendor lock-in. Making it difficult or costly for customers to switch to a different vendor or product. Anchoring. Introducing an initial high-priced option to make other options seem more reasonably priced. Rebranding. Changing the brand's image or name to revitalize interest or appeal to a new audience. Forced free trial. Offering a free trial period for a product or service, but requiring credit card information up front, which makes it easy for customers to forget to cancel and be charged. Point of sale. Display. Placing products strategically near the checkout counter to encourage impulse purchases. Decoy. Effect. Introducing a third less appealing option to make a target option seem more attractive by comparison. Slow music. Playing slow paced music in retail environments, which makes shoppers spend more time browsing and potentially make more purchases. Razor and Blades. Selling a primary product at a low cost. Razor. And making profits from complementary products. Blades. Seeding trial. Offering free or heavily discounted products to influencers to generate buzz and word of mouth marketing. Blind taste. Tests. Conducting taste tests where participants are unaware of the brands being tested, which aims to highlight the superiority of the marketed product. Subliminal advertising. Incorporating hidden messages or stimuli into advertisements to influence consumer behavior without their conscious awareness. Hidden advertising. Integrating promotional content into entertainment or media content in a subtle manner. Stealth marketing. Employing covert tactics to promote products or services without consumers realizing they are being marketed to. Ambush marketing. Leveraging events or occasions sponsored by competitors to promote one's own brand without official sponsorship. Foot and door. Technique. Getting a person to agree to a small request first, which makes them more likely to agree to a larger request later. Behavioral targeting. Using consumer data and online behavior to deliver personalized advertisements and content. Call to action. Prompting immediate action from consumers, often through phrases like buy now or learn more. Book signing. Hosting events where authors sign copies of their books, which attracts fans and generates publicity. Healthy food positioning. Marketing products as healthy or nutritious to appeal to health-conscious consumers. Channel stuffing. Inflating sales figures by encouraging distributors to purchase more inventory than they can sell. Chemical-free marketing. Promoting products as free from harmful chemicals or additives to appeal to environmentally conscious consumers. On-hold messaging. Providing marketing messages or promotions to callers placed on hold, which maximizes engagement. Doorbuster deal. Offering steep discounts on select items to attract customers to a store's physical location. Home staging. Presenting homes for sale in a way that maximizes appeal to potential buyers, often through interior design techniques. Introductory rate. Offering products or services at a discounted rate for a limited time to attract new customers. Unique selling proposition, highlighting distinctive features or benefits of a product or service to differentiate it from competitors. Tie-in work, collaborating with other brands or media properties to cross-promote products or services. Wait marketing, capturing the attention of consumers during moments of waiting, such as in line or during commute, 